Okay, so for today's video, I want to talk about bullshit ass skincare products. Um, the beauty industry, uh, in terms of product marketing, merchandising, um, and selling to consumer products that one, we don't need, and two, are just fucking up our skin. I say this from personal opinion and just personal experience. Anytime that I have bought into some kind of new skincare drop, new skincare product, that I've gone and taken my ass to Sephora, bought that fucking expensive cream that's like $70 and wanted to try something new to take my skin to the next level, it has always backfired and ruined my skin or it did absolutely nothing. So I'm tired of it. I'm done buying into all of the marketing, all of the products. I actually started this YouTube channel doing, you know, reviews of skincare products, beauty products, uh, makeup products that I would buy from stores like Sephora and Ulta and things like that and like different brands. And I'm just so exhausted of it. I mean, every fucking month there's another celebrity with another new hot fucking makeup line or a new hot skincare line, a half-assed product marketed to sell to consumers like us and make us believe that it's fucking cool or it fucking works. It doesn't. Makeup, I understand, that's like a different ball game. Like, cool, makeup's fun, you experiment with it, it's fun to try new things, but skincare lines these skincare lines that are popping up left and right i'm not interested anymore i'm just not because none of them work and actually at the time in my life where my skin was the worst it was the period where i was buying consistently all of these new products that were supposed to you know heal my skin in turn making my skin worse than it has ever been in its life and i'll show a picture from my acne, redness, you know, that was a time period in my life where I was trying all this bullshit out. I decided to stop and I haven't posted on this channel for a while because I, I'm not buying any of the new stuff anymore. So I was like, what am I even gonna do with this fucking channel anymore? And the reality of it is, is when I stopped using all that shit on my face, I stopped buying into every fucking skincare drop and every new product that came out, my skin got better. Like my skin is, so much better. It's not perfect, but I'll try and post a picture of my skin just static so you can see and I'll take those photos or whatever so you guys can see kind of like when I was using all these products from Sephora versus after I'd stopped and actually just started focusing on, you know, trying to be a healthy person, working out, um, trying to eat more whole foods, vegetables, getting like actual doses of vegetables and getting actual like fruit in. My diet's not perfect, but just trying to make sure that like I drink water, I eat fucking fruits and vegetables. And that's actually what has shown the best improvement in my skin is just leaving it alone. I'm sorry, if I want my skin to be changed, or something about me to be changed. I'm not gonna buy a gimmick product. I'm going to invest in the straight to the point solution. So you know what, if I have fucking jowls or whatever, my jowls are fucking forming, instead of buying into some bullshit ass cream, I will just save up to get a fucking facelift. If I feel like I have wrinkles instead of buying some bullshit ass cream and trying several different creams thinking that, oh, one of them's gonna work to get rid of my wrinkles. I'm just gonna go get Botox or preventative Botox. I just, I don't, I, I don't, I don't get like the, why are we beating around the bush with all these bullshit products? Like just stick to science, stick what, to what fucking works. Aren't we all tired of it? Stop, stop spending your money on this crap. It doesn't fucking work. And I and I fully get it because my bathroom is stacked with products that I have purchased and it's fun. Like if it's fun for you and it's not doing any harm, fine. And if it works for you, it works for you. But I just feel like for the majority of people, it's 
it's not. Here is a lovely picture of my skin. Um, probably from 2020 when I was using every single product under the sun. Um, and it was literally just causing like acne breakouts and you can see a lot of scarring from the acne that used to be there. And then this pic, it's live acne on my chin. And I'm telling you, this was the only photo that I could find because that like at least showed my skin looking terrible because honestly i tried to just delete and hide all of these uh pictures so that i would never have to face myself but it was really really bad with like cystic acne at one point and it was just from all of the irritation and the different products that i was putting on my skin and now this is my skin and this is my skin from barely putting anything on it Again, of course, it's not perfect. Like, you can see I still have some acne scarring and, you know, a pimple or two. But just the level of the evenness on my skin tone, less breakouts, <laughs> just, like, overall, like, I could some days, like, I even feel comfortable enough to just leave my house without makeup. Um, and that's... I would never, ever, ever do that. And that has literally only happened because... I just changed my diet and started eating better and on top of it just stopped putting crap on my face like I don't know about you but I'm done with the bullshit thanks bye